and I'm gonna go take credit for everything you just did. It doesn't matter. It's not upside down. This is the correct side. Looks like the writing's upside down. This is upside down, but it'll flip you over anyway. I can say that looks correct, though. Nope. Whatever. It's backwards. <laughs> so, we have been very, very busy out here. All the uh, five-gallon buckets have been taken away. Part of the lavender plant that died over here has been chopped up and burned because I wanted to smell lavender. I didn't dig it up. Um, part of me hopes that, that, that something might grow out of it anyway. Still got all this. Uh, this is, uh, I think, just regular peppermint, not spearmint. Um, there's nothing left of the geraniums in there. In fact, it looks like the peppermint kind of got into the geranium hole. The rosemary's doing great. Um, some has been pulled. Some is regrowing where that's been pulled. You can see I cut um, one of the woodier uh, shrubby areas out of it and it's already starting to grow itself again. The peppermint is growing all out here, which, you know, I don't mind that because part of this was gonna end up being an herb bed anyway. But it's still in the walkway. I have stepped on it and complained about it and it didn't care. I've still got a little bit of weeding to do. So look at this. I put another pallet here because I was going to um, fill it with dirt and use the bottom as my uh, composting area from the previous year. And eventually this will be a, uh, a bed of its own, maybe with cinder block around it. But check this out. The mint's growing up. This wasn't even a mint bed. The mint is coming from this side. And this is what I wanted to show. I had chopped a, what do you call that, a, a Swiss chard. I chopped it. Chopped it all the way down, I mean, almost to the root. And I left it for dead thinking it would rot, like that one did. It's growing a baby. It's a baby chard. All that regular time is doing good. The lemon time on my other side is kind of eh. But look at this. Do you remember the cilantro that decided it would, I don't know, the seeds kind of fell over? This is what's happened to it. I'm, I'm probably still going to pull it and use it somewhere. I don't know. It's also growing in this bed that I was going to put more peas in. Y'all see that? That's a frog eyeball. How did this frog eyeball get way over here? This frog has one eyeball now. It's my fault actually because I was moving this pallet and I stood it up and the wind blew and it hit my frog. And lastly, my muscle has moved 
these eight pallets over on top of the cardboard that's laid out so that um, we can start these beds although it's going to take a little bit of dirt and it'll lay down really nice and smooth and nothing will move in under it that's my goal anyway some of the pallets look like they're kind of sitting on each other but we make do